Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see the goal seek using the Excel VBA. This is the workbook we have. From the developer menu, we will go to the Visual Basic. Here we have the sub procedure whole seek range J2. I selected the range J2, that is this one dot goal seek. In the range J2, we are going to seek the whole. What is the goal we have to get in that range? That is the range we have to write first, then space, then goal is equal to 100, then comma, then the changing cell. The changing cell we have to write here as range. By changing this range K2, we are going to get the goal in the range J2. Our goal is going to be 100. So here, here will be the goal. So here we will write something 5, here 20. So here we will write an equation 5 into 20. So this is our goal. Let's try this 15. Okay. So this is our goal, the range K2. That is this one. This one is our changing cell. By changing K2, we are going to see the goal here, that is 100. Let's run this. You can see this is our goal. Goal changed to 100 by changing this cell. This cell is changed automatically. We will change some numbers, 120. Now we will run this. This is our goal, 120. This is the changing cell that is changed to 8. This is our next uh, procedure goal seek. So here we are assigning few variables i as long result cell and the changing cell as range. Also the target score as integer. We will comment out this first. We will uncomment this one. Our target score is 85. Then we are putting an if statement target score if it is less than zero then we are exiting from the sub procedure if it is negative number right then in the for statement for i is equal to two to five you can see now we are taking the column number two three four and five for i is equal to two to five we are setting the result cell and the changing cell result cell is cell 10 comma i row number 10 you can see this is the row number 10 in the total we will get the results here we are getting the average so this that is the 10th row we are setting the changing cell as well that is in the 9th row you can see this is the 9th row so few students results are here one student result we have to write so here will be the average so for the average we'll get these all student results we'll apply to the all right now that is in the ninth row the columns numbers will be changed that's why two two five column number two three four and five so finally this is the goal seek Result cell is the place where we are going to get the result that is from the target score. So result cell dot goal C for the target score. We already declare the variable and set this here or dynamically from here to here. And the changing cell that is this one from the ninth row. You can see from the ninth row. The changing cell from column two to five. So we will run this. Earlier the target score is 85. So for all subjects, the average result has to be 85. Okay, now we will check. You can see this is our goal seek 85. This is the changing cell, it is changed to the result for this particular student. Now we will uncomment, we will comment this one. 
Now what we are going to do, we are going to get the target score from the user using the input box. This is the prompt. What is the target score? And this will be as the title. Now we will run this. The input box is here with the title target score and the prompt. What is the target score? We can type target score is 90. Okay. You can see target score is 90. The changing cells also changed. Now we will run this from here. Okay. From the developer, from the insert, we will take a button here. So we will assign button and that is the goal C2. We will select this workbook, goal C2. Okay. Now what we can do, we can change this goal seek, right. Now we can click this, we can type whatever the target score we want. Now we will write this minus 50, okay. This is not changed because from this line, if it is less than zero, exit sub procedure, okay. We will run this again. 80 is the target score. Okay, you can see this change to 80 and this is the changing cell. Right. This is the next procedure. Goal seek another third example. Uh, here we have uh, equation x is equal to 2y minus 7. So we are assigning same as earlier. Result cell and changing cell as range. Uh, so the target score as India. So we, so we will get the target score using the input from the user input box. We are setting the result cell and the changing cell as earlier. This is in the row number three and four. You can see this is the row number three and four from the column H. We can put the column in this way as well, or oh, else if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eighth column, we can write 8 as well. Okay, then, then we will get the result cell, that range, dot, goal C, then the target score, comma, changing cell, because we already assigned them. Now, what we can do here, we can get the button, Okay, we will put the button here. Third one, call it three. Right, we can rename this as well. Goal seek. Right. Now what we have to do? This is the equation. Here we will put uh, some numbers for the y. Seventy-two for the x one. We will write the equation here equal to into this is the y we will select the y minus 7 right enter so based on changing the y x will be changed here, here we are seeking the number for the x the changing cell is y so we will run this from here right right what is the target score we want the x as something 200 okay so y will be changed by 103.5 right in this way we can use this call seek in the excel vba and you can download this excel files from the description below thank you